Hello there, I am Mrs Parry and I am the Head of Drama and Theatre Studies here at King's. As you've probably seen, we have the most amazing facilities here for drama, whether it's our 300 seat auditorium in which we stand now or our drama and dance studios upstairs in the Keys building. But what we need to do is actually fill these wonderful venues with the kind of work that will really inspire our students. When our pupils join in lower four, in year seven, we really try to dispel the myths about drama, that being good at drama isn't just about having a fantastic memory and being loud enough to be heard at the back. Just like any other subject, there are skills that anybody can learn and anybody can develop. So we work really hard with the students on their general communication skills, learning how to break down those skills, showing them examples of good practice and giving them the fun experiences and activities where they can replicate and develop those skills. Thinking all the time about the audience. It's not always a literal audience in a theatre. We have an audience every day of our lives and we have to be able to communicate with them and adapt to the right setting. So our lower fours get a weekly drama lesson and they alternate with our specialist dance teacher to enhance that physical expressive language which is so important. When our pupils move into the upper four into year eight we continue to develop those great communication skills with them with a weekly drama lesson but we'll also start exploring a wider range of texts, a wider range of stimulus materials so they can devise and start creating their own pieces of theatre. We start talking and discussing and practicing design skills, whether that's set, costume and stage makeup, lighting, sound, through hands-on workshops and activities that really get them to appreciate that entire theatrical vocabulary that creates the key communication with an audience. By the end of Lower Remove, they're ready to make their choice as to whether they progress onto GCSE drama and even onto the A-level drama and theatre course. If they do that, they're going to really need to think about being young theatre practitioners, looking closely at developing their own craftsmanship, but also appreciating more analytically what the needs of an audience are and the experiences that audiences have. All the while, that's underpinned with a real, rigorous academic study into the context of theatre and how the social, historical and cultural backgrounds to texts and theatre making have shaped the way in which we can present theatre today to our own audiences. Not all students will continue the academic journey into GCSE and A-level with us, but those core communication skills, the ability to present themselves in front of an audience, and the ability to love and become passionate about all aspects of theatre making will stay with them and in that way, they stay with us because they remain part of that drama family and join us for productions. Our annual productions make us so proud of the talent we have of the students here at King's, whether they're on stage or backstage. The outcomes we have, we sometimes feel like our students are on a par with full-time professionals and we are so proud to realise that they've achieved that with the foundations they've been given and the time that they've had and by nurturing and supporting each other. So academically, we build from the bottom up on these wonderful skills foundations and then they can apply those to every walk of life and in their extracurricular lives, they are inspiring from the top down with our wonderful seniors showcasing their talents and inspiring the next generation coming through. Well, when I joined King's, originally I chose to do computer science, um, but a couple of weeks in, I began talking to some of the other students who took drama, and I came up here to the studios and I went also to the theatre, and honestly, the community I was just really supporting and I just felt I really had to move. It was definitely the right thing to do. So honestly, if I could give some advice to anyone joining the King Sixth Form, it would be to just do the subjects that you really are passionate about because honestly, the school and the community, all the students, the staff, whether they're in the year above, the year below, or even you've never you know, interacted with them before, they will support you in what you want to do and it really help you, you know, achieve what you want to achieve. 
At King's, outside of lessons, there are loads of opportunities to go on extracurricular trips and to do plays going right the way from year seven all the way up to sixth form. There's always something for everyone to do and everyone to take part in. There's lots of trips to go and see various productions and we do a stay away one in London, which is always the highlight of the year for everyone. So for what I want to do in the future, I needed biology and chemistry because I want to go and do physio. But then I think drama really helps with um, the, your communication skills and being able to talk to someone and be able to stand in front of people and communicate your ideas, uh, which I think you don't get with any of the other subjects really. It's a very unique opportunity that you have. Um, well, I've done Lander at King since lower four, so throughout my entire time. And it is really a very unique opportunity because it's very independent and you get to choose the like monologues and duologues or whatever that you want to do. And your teachers are always really supportive. You know, my teacher, Mr. Hollyhead, has just been very amazing and just really, like he's really supportive of your ideas and what you want to do in Lambda and I think that's incredibly important and something that you don't usually get in other subjects or other extracurricular activities. I mean I didn't initially choose to do drama for GCSE, I chose a different course, I chose German but because I really enjoyed drama all the way through I changed it because even though I'm not thinking about doing drama as a career or anything it's something that really helps you with public speaking, your confidence and communication and I think that's something that can be transferable to anything you do.